This comes from Cinema Blend. I trust them, so let's see what they have to say. They said Amber Heard fires back after Johnny Depp tries to move the court date for the filming of Fantastic Beasts. Oh boy. The saga between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is still ongoing at this point. As court cases are moving forward and back and forth sniping between both legal teams continues. Recently we heard Johnny Depp was hoping to postpone his Virginia case against Amber Heard due to studio scheduling him to film Fantastic Beast 3 at the same time. However, Amber Heard's legal team now says the request was not made in good faith. Oh boy, here we go. Amber Heard's legal team is arguing that Johnny Depp should have made the effort to shift his filming commitments and not the court's commitments. The official written request states that the actor has made no effort whatsoever with his lawsuit, which is supposed to commence in January. The official dates were January 11th to the 28th, is what Amber Heard's legal team said. Although Mr. Depp had been contacted in late June or July with the proposed filming dates, he did not alert them to the trial dates. Mr. Depp decided that rather than speak with his employer to work his film commitments around his trial, he asked the court to subserviently reschedule around his employment an entire film schedule and production. Now Amber Heard has reported that she has her own filming commitment with Aquaman 2 in February of 2021 which is why her lawyers filed a motion to not allow the dates to change depp's team they asked to have the the defamation case between march and june of 2021 a march court date would seemingly interfere with aquaman 2 and amber heard's filming but depp's motion basically said any time during that time window would work We'll have to wait and see if the legal team and the presiding judge are able to work out a solution that won't end up affecting either massive film productions. Now, this was originally scheduled for February of 2020, but both the defamation case and the libel lawsuit had to shuffle around dates during this fiscal year, given the global circumstances. So here we go again, 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 again. Amber Heard's team is saying, look, he had the time and instead of rescheduling the film around the trial date he decided to ask the court to be subservient to him and to reschedule date because of filming but he's like listen we, we talked about this in the other video his team basically said look it could be a breach of contract he doesn't want to breach a contract he wants to do the right thing why can't we reschedule just adjourn the court case now they can i'm telling you i get adjournments in court cases all the time on motions for whatever reason sometimes somebody's sick sometimes someone planned a vacation sometimes it's a holiday a religious holiday um there's lots of things and mostly the court will work around that and they'll say why don't you give me your good dates and why don't you give me your good dates and i'll look at mine and we'll come to a schedule which suits everyone best. Again, the same could be said here. Now, he's giving a nice time window. He's giving from March to June. That's three months. Now, yes, it's true that she, she's filming in February. Yeah, she's probably going to be busy in March or April. Maybe even May. But June and July might be an opportune time for her to have a little free time in there. What I think the courts should do, and I think I said this yes in the other video yesterday... And if you haven't seen it, you know, feel free to check out all my Johnny Depp videos. I mean, I'll put the playlist in the comments section. Uh, check any of them you'd like. Hopefully you catch up to where I am. Again, I'm kind of new to this. But coming from a court employee's point of view, someone who's worked with judges, someone who has seen this happen on many motions. Sometimes, now here's what they're not telling you, okay? Because I'm going to give you a little legality, a little legal stuff, okay? I don't know everything about the law, but I do just a little bit. Sometimes what they do is called a stipulation, where both sides will sign it and say, hey, 
we'd like to adjourn the court case from this day to this day. This is when both sides agree to it. Here, they're not agreeing to it. So, stipulations look like they're going to be out of this case. One side says, I want this. The other side said they don't. You can't do a stipulation. So, obviously, that's why they had to do a motion. They had to go forward a motion to request this from the judge. Now, you could say, well, why couldn't they call the judge and just, you know, do this without paperwork? Because it can't be done that way. And the reason it can't be done that way is because it seems impartial. The courts are not impartial, whether you believe it or not. I'm telling you, I've worked there. And basically, here's how it goes, and I'll tell everybody this. You can't just call a judge. They don't like that. They don't want that. They don't want you calling. Okay? They want What they want you to do, what they prefer you to do, is that you either work it out with the other side, try to schedule a court date. The court will then see what date is good for the court, and they'll try to put it closest to that date. Or what they, they do is they'll have a conference call and maybe all three can work on it or work on a future date so if again if i'm the judge based on this facts and based on how the courts run okay johnny's asking for an adjournment she said no this will interfere with her schedule there was no effort on his part he knew about this ahead of time and he wants the court to be subservient to him which is not which is absolutely baloney she's just trying to give him a hard time in my opinion uh yes they have a good case if she's just filming in February. Good case because her window for filming wouldn't be fair to her. Now, I don't know why they need to go that route. Just says, we can't do it, Your Honor, because she's going to be filming her movie in February. So what I would have asked if I'm the judge is I, wanna, I want a written statement in writing from both companies. I want to know when you're both are filming. Okay, I want this from the company, not from you guys from the companies themselves when i get the time frame the time window of mr depp when he's doing his production for the movie and miss her when she's doing the production from her movie then i will look at the time frame window you guys have and i will schedule the court hearing now could it be done in june july i believe it could be and i can't see why not why couldn't it be filmed later in the year now, I don't know if Johnny Depp's schedule. I don't know if he has another movie lined up. And I don't know if she has another plans in the future. What they should do is they should show everyone that they're filming with or commercials or interviews or whatever they got it lined up, the time window that they will not be available. The judge is there all year. There is no reason that they cannot get a three-week trial in during one of these months. And if it is, somebody's going to have to push something off. That's it. That's as simple. And a judge might come back and say, okay, you're only doing interviews and commercials during this time. Can you push them off to this month so we can get this done? In my mind, this is what's going to happen. The judge is going to push this off to a date that convenes both sides. Uh, I don't go for the subservient court stuff. That's just, you know, the court would look at that like, come on. That's not what he's doing here. That's just them trying to find an excuse to pick at something. Okay? So this is the best I can explain everything to you. I can work in the courts. I can tell you. Every state is different. Okay? New York is different than New Jersey. It's different than Virginia, than California, than Florida. There is rules for every state. Therefore, you can't be a lawyer in one state and be a lawyer in another without passing a bar examination. You also can't transfer from court to court because the rules and everything is a different procedure, different protocol, different laws. It's just how it is. People don't know this, and now you know. With that being said, I think it could be solved very easily. Just push the court date out, pick a date that's good for both parties, right in order, and there you go. But you let me know how you feel about Amber Heard giving Johnny Depp again a hard time. And really, the attorneys can really work this out. I think it's just a case of her attorneys and her acting very childish, very foolish, and shall I say, very immature. But you let me know in the comment section what you think about all this. And as usual, be safe and be well. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you heard the rumor that there was an earthquake where I was, yes. There was a 3.1 earthquake last night, which prevented me from making this video. Everything's okay. No one is hurt. No damage. No harm. But 
a little shaken up, a little disturbed, a little scared because trying to figure out what had happened till we found out there was a 3.1 earthquake. Besides that, I'm going to go live at 8 o'clock on Friday night and I'll be posting who I'll be live with. Till then, you guys be well, be safe. Take care, bye.